One time I learned how not to remove hair extensions the hard way. So, you know these, these fusion extensions? <laughs> so, back in 2007, we didn't have TikTok. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have any online support. I mean, I don't know. I can't, like, was MySpace a thing? I gotta look up these years, like, to figure out when MySpace became a thing, when we had MySpace. Okay, but we weren't learning about stuff on MySpace. We were sharing our Friday night adventures. Um, and if Facebook was a thing, YouTube, there was no YouTube tutorials. We weren't learning, okay? Um, <laughs> so, um, my shampoo girl came in and we did fusion extensions because she's like, I want extensions. I'm like, I don't know how to do them. They didn't teach us that in hair school. I knew nothing about that. Well, she wanted them, so I gave them to her. Well, I gave her extensions, and <laughs> when it came time to remove them, we were like, I don't know how to remove them. You know what we thought would be a good idea? To reheat them up. Okay, so these little U-tips. So you, you pick a little diameter of hair, about the same um, diameter as the extension. You put it on there, you heat it up with an iron, and you rub it around. So we're like, let's just heat them up. That'll take it off, right? No. No. That made them stickier. And that made them like, it was awful. And I couldn't run to YouTube, and I couldn't run to TikTok, and I had no idea what to do. I'm in this tiny little town, in this tiny little place. Anyway, she found a stylist that had remover, and they gave us undo goo. You know, like that you buy at Ace, and we undo gooed them. That was a learning lesson. So, I've been doing Fusion Extensions since 2007. <laughs> Anyway, I was just making a tutorial about them and it made me think of that story. I didn't do them for a while, for a little while. And then I really made sure I learned all that I could before really doing them again. And we did them on each other for years before we offered them to clients.